around his neck she put a toy An amulet to help him find the truth But it's hiding in the lies And so he wanders the endless road The barefoot boy called Kim He goes into the sunset And follows the dream that he Captain Bennett, with his accomplices, tried to slow down his regiment's steady advance by ransacking a village and destroying a bridge. Using a clever ploy, Kim saved the situation. Bennett took revenge by having Kim committed to a military orphanage. Put on this uniform immediately. Forget it. I huh? won't put on these rags. I want to talk to the manager. You are only here to obey. Say one more word and you'll see what happens to you. Ah! Oh. Ah! Stop him! Stop that criminal and get him back to me! Where do you think you're going, boy? Get back here! Get him! Hey! By chance, were you looking for these? It looks to me like you need a little lesson in obedience. Get in! Perhaps a day in the punishment cell will clear your mind. Have a wonderful time. No! Get me out of here! Are you insane? I'm not a criminal! But why? Bennett, it was him! That disgusting snake! <gasps> Dree, it's you, my friend! I'm so happy to see you. If nothing else, I'll have some company. <gasps> have you slept well, little rookie? Stand up! Get out of here! One, two, one, two, one! Stop! Face front! Front! Here are the new arrivals, sir! Very well, son. Sir, I'm Silence. here for- Silence! Keep your mouth shut! I don't want to hear one single word out of you! This is Sergeant Ash. He is the commander of the guards. I am Mr. Wallace, and I am the manager of this orphanage. Rule number one, any disobedience or any distraction, what? even the smallest, oh. will be severely punished. You will discover the other rules in time. Any questions? When will we eat? when we tell you, you sleep when we tell you, and you breathe when we tell you. Have I been clear? Uh, um, yes. Leave him alone, coward. <laughs> I'll break your neck. Get in. Two punishments in two days. If you continue like this, you will break the orphanage record. Don't worry, Dree. I promise we'll get out of here. Hey, little nobody. It's time to stretch your legs. One, two, one, two. Thank you, my friend. It didn't help much. It doesn't matter. Thanks anyway. It's been a long time since anyone did anything for me. What's your name? Azim. I have a nickname they call me, so you can call me Fatso. No, I'll call you Azim. My name is Kim. Silence, girls! It's not tea time yet! Back to marching! One, two, one, two! To the left! One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two! Is it just me or does it stink in here? <laughs> yeah, it smells nasty. It smells like Indians. But, but that's Sita. Do you know him? He used to live in my village. 
but when his parents died, he had to move to Lahore to go and live with his uncle. We were sad when he left. That's no... Is that really you? Yes, hi, Sita. Have I not been clear? Who do you think I am here? Do you think I'm your mother, Fatball? N no Shut that pathetic mouth or I will close it myself! I've only greeted an old friend of mine. Oh, well, that's different. Then you know each other. Perfect. Rotten apples always travel together. It means you will keep your old friend company in the punishment cell so he won't be lonely. Hey, that's not right. So you don't think so, you little snake? My name is Kim. Very well, little snake Kim. You've been looking to break the record and now you've succeeded. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I recommend you start hunting some fat roaches for supper. I heard they're rather tasty once you remove their legs. Have a nice meal. Caesar, uh, 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 how did you end up here? I gotta say, I'm surprised to see you. I was ya. trying to steal some provisions from the soldiers and they caught me. I don't understand. Is this an orphanage or a jail? Are you saying there's supposed to be a difference? That's Kim. Hi, Kim. Nice to meet you. Hi, Sita. But didn't you move to Lahore to live with your uncle? I hate my uncle. He's not just a musician, he's a drunk. Makes me work hard all day while he plays his sitar. My goodness, what a terrible uncle. Don't worry, I taught him a new song. I broke the sitar right over his head. <laughs> <laughs> Attention, ladies, stand up. You'll be pleased to know it's a beautiful day out there. Am I wrong, or are we the only three Indians here? Well, I'm not a queasy type, and it's always better to have friends than enemies. Hey, I'm Kim. What's your name? What That's the? my business. Seems like I picked the grumpiest mm. one. Let's try another kid. Yes, that guy huh? down there, he keeps them all under control. Mm. You mean that beast there? Yes, he seems to be the head of the group, and he is not nice to those with dark skin. <laughs> are you sure? Then why is he mm. looking at me and smiling? Huh. huh. You know, I hate to say it, but I think you're right. I have a feeling this stuff is disgusting. Always better than roaches. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Are you crazy? Why did you do that? Because he came close to me. You should keep your distance, you three. Nobody inside here wants to have your foul smell around. Do not forget that. You're wrong, buddy. You're the one who stinks. And now you really need a shower. Wow. Oh. You see what the wow. new kid did? Oh, oh, gonna be you're gonna pay for that, you rat! Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. The punishment cell oh, has not taught you anything, I see. But it's all right. The moment of the true punishment has arrived. The three of you in there. Oh. 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 Do you like it? His name is Jimbo. He's the head of the herd. Hmm, fresh air inside here. Those are the shovels. Those are the baskets, and that's the manure. I want them all filled up to the very top, or you'll all be in serious trouble. You understand me? Huh? Huh? Mm. You'll like it here. You'll have fun. Hmm. Oh, the punishment cell was better. You can say that again. I'd sure like to know why they need all this manure around here. Here he is. He's back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys could have done better, but I'm in a good mood today. So I'm satisfied. Out of here, quick. Oh, I can't Tonight I'm going to dream of a pirate. Sure I brought your ready? friends back, but judging from mm -hmm. your faces, you don't seem very happy to see them. Unfortunately, they didn't have time to wash up. But I know that you'll welcome them with open arms. Good night. Ah, uh, they stink oh. like uh. pigs. Ah, oh, stay over on that side of the room, will ya? At the end of the dormitory, there's a latrine. That's where you guys deserve to bunk. That's right, a beautiful room just for you. Doesn't that make you happy? What a beautiful pack of cowards. And you're the prettiest one of all. Mm -hmm. huh? What did you say, you rat? I called you a coward. By chance, are you deaf as well? All right, you asked for it. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't yeah. take much courage to beat a little guy. Maybe not, but it sure is fun. It would be more amusing if you dared to even try to go where I go. What? I'm throwing a challenge <laughs> at you, beast. If you will dare go where I go, 
you will win the challenge and we'll do what you want. Hmm? But if you can't follow, you'll have to apologize and leave all of us alone. What in the world are you saying? The door is closed from the outside. You're locked in. You can't go anywhere. Really? Is that what you think? Huh? 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 I see, you wanna die! I go to sleep on the roof. Let us see how brave you are, Bull. Come with me. Wow, oh, can you believe that? that? Wow, jeez. Oh, he's oh, going outside. He's doing that? Look. Oh, look at his boots. Look at that guy. He's uh -huh. crazy. All the way up there. He's actually on the oh. roof. He's amazing. Well, yeah, that's a monkey. Whether he's a monkey or not, he's giving you a run for your money. Huh? It's true, Bull. He challenged you. You can do it. And the challenge is a challenge. Let's <laughs> see so you try to beat that. <laughs> it's all right. Now I'll show you all. Hey. What's so difficult? I have no idea. Careful. Ah! Good, Bull. Show them what you're made of. You can do it, Bull. I don't go, uh, Bull. Oh, 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 careful, Bull. Don't need stop. a pair of pants. Come on, Come keep on, moving! Oh, oh, come back inside! What's wrong with him? Come on, what are you waiting for? Hey, Kim, I can't move! My legs won't go! Don't tell me that you're afraid! Okay, I'm not afraid! I don't want to die! You won't die! Go ahead, go back! I can't make it! I'm not able to move! It's alright, I got it! Try yeah. to stay calm! <laughs> Come on, Bull, give me your hand. I told you, I can't. I'll show you, it's easy. Come on, uh, Bull. Come on, uh, this way. Come on. Uh, it's easy. But what if we both fall? We'll crash to the ground. Come on, move your feet, little by no. little, mm. like I did. No, they won't move at all. Yes, they will, but you gotta believe in yourself. If you don't try, I'm going back to the roof. No, I beg you, help me, please. Then just do it. That's oh. it. Don't and let... now the other foot. Uh, slowly, uh, slowly. Take my hand, uh, Bull. Uh, 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 You're safe, Bull. Didn't we have an agreement, or am I wrong? Sorry. I didn't hear that. Can you repeat? I'm sorry! <laughs> you dirty rat! <laughs> <laughs> One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, move, move! Lift those legs like men, you little sissies! I swear, one day when I'm bigger than he is, I'll teach him a lesson he won't forget! You'll never be as big as he is, even when you're a hundred years old. Then I'll give him a piece of my mind. For this, you don't need to grow. All it takes is finding the courage. Don't worry, I got all the courage I need, Fatso. Hey, guys, huh? look at that! That man is giving some money to the manager. That's Sabi, the richest farmer in the whole region. Very interesting. See you next time, Sergeant Ash. See you soon, Mr. Savi. See you next week. And I hope I don't have to remind you that we are in the sewing season. Don't worry, we've got plenty of manpower here. I finally get it. That guy buys the manure from the manager to fertilize his fields. Can you believe it? We broke our backs to fill the pockets of that dirty manager. You still talking? I feel like you don't want to learn to be quiet. Here we go again. I'll be back here in three hours. And if this kitchen is not clean and shiny as a mirror, you will all be sleeping out in the rain. My word as an officer and gentleman. Oh, I almost forgot. While you're at it, put the leftovers in those big pots. When you're done with your jobs, you will bring them to the pigs. Hope you have fun in here, girls. Look at that mountain of filth, it's disgusting. Uh, at least it's better than the pigsty. This is perfect. Come on, guys, put all the leftovers in the pot. Hmm? What's wrong with you? Are you impatient to return to the pigs? That's right, I can't wait. Hmm? He's lost his mind. Ah. Hmm. Unfortunately, your little friends are slackers. They didn't do their job right, and now you will all pay for their negligence. 
Tomorrow morning, I want to find each one of you fully dressed and standing by the cot, and I want to see windows, floors, and all the latrines clean and shiny. No, the latrine, no! That's not fair! Be quiet, and if tomorrow I am not able to see myself in the floor, I will send you all to sleep in the pigsty! Good night, girls. Sweet dreams! That's not what we needed. Now we're gonna have to work all night long. It's just not fair. And it's all because you three morons can't do anything right. I say we make them clean the latrine. What do you say, guys? You're right. Stop it! This is what that disgusting sergeant is trying to do. Put us up against each other. Bull, what are you saying? Thanks, friend. You don't have to thank me. I'm not doing it for you. I am fed up with being abused by that dog. Correct. And this is the time to do something to pull ourselves out of trouble. Do what, smart Alec? Escape. What? If I said that I can free all of you, would you be prepared to do everything I told you no matter what? Don't be stupid. Nobody can escape from here. It's not gonna be easy, but if we're lucky, the day after tomorrow we'll all be out. Now you're talking. Where would we start? Exactly from this. What? A piece of soap? Oh yes, we had to clean the latrine. Okay, my wimpy girls, let's see if you're gonna make me happy today. Hmm, not bad. Let's see the latrine. Yeah. moment of your life. And now we come to the reason for this meeting. As you all know, last night Sergeant Ash was a victim of a cowardly attack. Now I'm not accusing anyone individually. However, if within three seconds the culprit doesn't come forward, all of you will be severely punished. One, two, and... It was me, sir. I would have bet this one. And it was me too. I was with them. What a magnificent trio. You will pay now, once and for all. It was me, too. Me, too. Don't forget about me. And me, either. I was one of the first Enough. ones. I get it, you knaves. You will all be punished, and you will not only fill the buckets of manure, but you will also sleep the whole night in the pigsty with the doors closed so the smell of the pigs keeps you awake all night. Good morning, Savvy. Good morning to you, Sergeant Ash. But what what has happened to you? Nothing that would be of interest to you. Uh -huh. But if I'm not mistaken, today you'll pick up a double load. You're absolutely right. It's sowing season. I hope it's ready. Why, sure. Come on. Here, the buckets are all filled up. And as for the boys, where are you, small criminals? They're playing games. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> Come out! <sighs> Scoundrels, where are you? Ash, <sighs> do you know who did this to you? It was the boys, of course. And they disappeared. But how did they do it? I don't know, but somehow those scoundrels have managed to escape. Please take this. I must be going. Not here. In front of the guard. Come tomorrow. As you wish, manager. Let's go, boys. Sure is unbelievable. Where in the world? Let's go! Oh, stop that wagon! Don't let it get out! Huh? Oh, stop! Oh, oh, stop! Oh, hey. Mr. Manager, you told me to come back tomorrow. They're inside those baskets. What do you mean? Come on, uncover them one by one. Mm -hmm. Nothing, sir. We've checked them all. The only thing here is manure. It's not possible. They must be there. Look through them again. Well? Nothing, sir. 
Are you sure? I'll say this, sir. If they were inside these things, it's possible they would be dead by now. Are you sure it's possible? I was certain that they... Am I free to go now, manager? Yes, go. Go away! Hmm. <laughs> Do you know what's going to happen if we don't catch those criminals as soon as possible? There'll be an inspection and I could be removed from my position. You must root them out, confound it! Or I swear I'll take you down with me! I will not go down alone. Yes, sir! Well, what are you waiting for, you fools? Move! Look for them in every corner! Sift through the whole orphanage! Find them! <laughs> Come on, unload the barrels and scatter the fertilizer on the field. Yes, sir. Sergeant, we have looked absolutely everywhere. We looked in the closets and in the drawers also. I hate to tell you, but we can't find them anywhere. Those scoundrels! Sergeant Ash? What is it? A very strange thing has happened. What are you babbling about? The menorah is bewitched! It's coming out all by itself! So what happened? Well, all the big lids have disappeared. I really can't imagine who would have taken them and why. The lids were in the big pot with the leftovers. They played us like fools, those scoundrels! <laughs> hey there, my friend! <laughs> 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 Fresh air at last! I can't believe it! We actually made it out of there! Yes, and all thanks to our new friend, Kim! Let's hear it for Kim! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Uh, hooray! Rather indeed! Hooray! Who would have thought hooray! Of that? Hooray! Hooray! Hey! If I were you, I wouldn't waste my time here. The soldiers could have figured out your scheme. I'm sorry, but it looks like you'll have to find another supplier for fertilizer. It's better this way. Now that I know how badly you were treated, I wouldn't want to use that fertilizer anyway. You'd better get going. I suggest you cut through the fields if you don't want to get caught. Thank you. We'll do it. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> run, boys, run! May good fortune be with you, always. His big blue eyes survey the scene He trusts no one, the streets are mean But his world that's called Lahore Is what his freedom means and more The woman who brought up the boy Around his neck she put a toy An amulet to help him find the truth But it's hiding in the lies And so he wanders the endless road The barefoot boy called Kim He goes into the sunset and follows 